Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another Psycho Dad reaction. I did not realize he uploaded yesterday. Um, I guess uh, YouTube messed up on notifications again. Not surprised. Though, it doesn't do as much as some people think, though. Um, but yeah, this video apparently was uploaded yesterday, and I didn't notice it until this morning. So, um, but, so Psycho Dad will be in the rotation of reactions today. I do not think my story animates going to upload today. I've noticed that they don't usually upload on Mondays, so there will not be a my story anime reaction today. With that being said, uh, we're going to get into this video, which is almost a, a half hour long. I'll have to check how long Larry's Lounge's video is, but it's probably no longer than 12 minutes. So this one is called Installing a Vinyl Plank Floor, so more house improvements. It's just like I was telling my aunt yesterday, I like recording the process of the construction projects that are around uh, the property I live with with my family now. So, um, and in a few months it's going to be another one of those series on my channel too. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into this reaction. Hey everybody, welcome to the Bridgeway World, where I should welcome to my nightmare. Yeah. This was Terry's room, this was her project, so we're now to the point where Jeff's got to help, right? Okay, hello, I'm Terry. This yes. is Jeff. She's the project manager. Um, I'm just the uh, person. And any improvements done to the house increases the value of the house. Right, but so, like I said, the only time they're going to take me out is in a body bag, so it's not going to worry about my, I'm not worried about the value of it. So, but today's project is putting in a floating vinyl plank floor. Right? We, right. This is the first time we've ever done this. Yes. We've done hardwood floor. We've done carpeting. We've done linoleum. Well, I've done linoleum. But I've never done one of these. So this is going to be a learning curve. But I did watch a video or two about how to install. It looks simple and very easy. But, again, the only issues we have may be the, the room may not be square. Uh, there may be hidden little factors in here like nails sticking up. We still got to go over. We still got to do a uh, once over with so, the first thing that we have to do is make sure the floor is clean. Yeah, make sure the floor and is clean. And we have to get the closet doors out oh, of there. Yeah. And, they, and they weigh a ton. We're going to have to actually, what, just move the boxes, I, yeah, we I guess, start as we're moving. But, it, but again, you got to think about, is the pattern changing in each box on your flooring? Because that's when, it, in an article I read, that each box has a different, like, um, grain to it or a different sometimes we'll have to look. lay them out and look at them first right so we're going to lay them out to box. see what makes sense it's this okay and he, he, he got this kit to help us C-Pro or C-Pro so it's know. got spacers it's got um, mm -hmm. a duplicator a, a mallet mm -hmm. a pull bar heavy tapping block uh, so I guess this is basically all we need all we need but we did have to Handsaw and also a uh, cutting tool because if we got to go under certain things like the bottom of the threshold of the doors, you may have to cut, but the trim is all out except for now I see the closet. And we only have so many, uh, I don't forget how, what the total square feet because it came so much in a box. So we can't have any mess ups. Right, but here's the other thing I'm just thinking out loud after watching the video. We might not have enough for it. Because there's going to be cuts. Well, that would suck. I, I'm just telling you. I'm, I'm thinking aloud. <laughs> out loud. All right, well, let's get to okay, it. Okay, we'll get to it. Hey, John, you're going to get up, buddy. Well, time left. Uh, time left. Is it? I like when they do these time lapses. When there's construction projects and videos like this, yeah, time lapse is necessary. I mean, Larry's done a time lapse too before in the past, some of his construction stuff. Though, he does his construction videos all differently now. I can't really explain it, but anyway, so let's continue. Well, there's no sense in taking the threshold out because it butted the floor is butted right up to this wall. Okay. And there's a little on the floor underneath it, which raises this floor up an eighth of an inch. Is that going to be a problem? No, we'll just 
just butt it up to the lawn. But there's like, I gotta get under there with like staples. There's staples across the back here from, I guess, from the carpet or something. Oh, well, because the carpet was here before. Um, before we had that hallway floor put in. Oh, uh, that's slippery. So why do you have to get the staples out? Because you don't want the... Because the floor has to go under well, there. Yeah, you want the floor to butt up against to the other stuff. And you don't want a lift. That John, I see one. you. Hi, buddy. You look at Ella. Ella. Mm. Why? That's the second time you've called her Ella. It's my brain. Your brain's causing it to call tuna uh, fish? To call it tuna fish? What are you doing? So, again, I'm just going through and trying to pick up any little pieces that may hinder the, the flooring from being either laying flat or sticking out. And uh, there was carpet staples that were still under that threshold. There was an uh, inch and a half finishing nail that was, looks like a trim nail that was sticking there. Actually, it's a little longer than an inch and a half. And next I'm going to go through that everything and see if I can find anything that's raised, like a nail, like where the subflooring goes down, you got to look for any kind of perfections that may cause it, that floor to stick up in the back here. Excuse me, John, I love you dearly. Like here's another one right here. Another uh, carpet nail. So we just got to go through and make sure everything is clear. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run the vacuum in here and suck up any imperfection of the dust, dirt, chunks, things like that. So, when we'll we get back, there's some imperfections in the floor, but there's not much I can do with it. Or we can do with it. This is called ducks. That's what it's okay. called. You know, like unlevel spots. We got the sag here. But that that's a big sag. And you know where, why that's from, right? Or why, why we have a slight sag here in that? No. Because back when we built the house, there was a lolly column underneath the separation to put the pool table in. I had to take the lolly column out. Out, and so it's... So I put oh. a, a two by ten against the other three two by tens that were the cross joists. I added a fourth two by ten and lag bolted it in. But when we took that lolly column out, I, we probably got a little, a little sag from it because it was probably very rigid or rigid. stiff. So that's why we got a sag. Sometimes you see that you'll get sags in your house, in your in your uh, taping, or in your drywall. You'll get cracks because houses settle. Yeah. And or you do things that alters maybe the support system. But at the time, adding a two by ten was the uh, solution for that project. And I talked okay. to the contractors and building uh, credit officials, and they were fine with it. So. All right, well, let's keep moving. So, so I yeah, to... I see the foreman's in our spot. Yep. You need to get up, John. You ain't getting up. Don't sit there until you push him out of the way. All right. Well, that's where we're going to start, so. Yep, we're going to start at this corner and work our way this way. And I may leave... Oh, the... you're starting up over there? No, that corner. Oh. Sliding everything this way. And that's it. That's 
Just because you, have, you get this, you got this joist, this joint, and if we put a joint here, it'll bust it up and give it a little difference because you don't want too many consecutive semi-full pieces. Okay. So if we cut one in half, we can use that here, and eventually we can start and come back the other way with the other half piece. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, so far... So the half would take it... To be actually at the door frame, at the door where the door opens. Somewhere along the line there. Uh, these are what? We're going to measure the tape. It's in my hand. Oh. So if we're looking at that, seventy-three inches, six foot one. And roughly about thirty-six inches. Yeah. That is about the. That is about the door, isn't it? 36 is right here. All right, so, so we, we, can, we can do that. You're saying just so we stagger, excuse me, just so that we stagger the seams. Correct, correct. JB Weld bonds, seals, and fills gaps. Learn more at jbweld.com. Well, they said that you're, 
you know, if you wanted to, you could measure it out and then put half, you know, split the difference. Put, you know. So you have a small piece on each side? Each side of it, yeah. Yeah. I think that wastes, wastes more. That you're splitting, but the board would go on the opposite side, so I guess, I guess it works out, but. And I see you change your shirt. Well, I had to. I was freaking so open the window, too. I was, got stinking uh, tropical storm outside. Yeah, so it's really handy, Humid, too. Humid's up. Humidity's up. But the temperature's not, so. And what else have we we learned? Tips of the train. Tips. Use knee pads. Look, I'm right there. Look at that thing. It's crazy. Yeah, so we, he got a towel. So I got a towel to put my so, knee on because yeah. I, for, I feel awkward if I... And me, I just squat. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it's a little bit better for you. But so far, it's... I think we've mastered the locking. I think we're good there. Yeah. The only thing, the only thing we're having now is that you've got to cut, make a cutout for the vent. Yeah. Which you want to use your... Yeah, I marked it roughly where it is, so I got a start mark that I can cut for, through. So even if I have to do my uh, jigsaw or the uh, universal cutter, we'll get it done. But I, I, I think we're pretty good. Don't you think? Oh yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. And we have what? What were our very last box? And I think we have four pieces left. Yeah. Is it four? Uh, four or five. I don't know. So hopefully. You can only go one way with it. It's kind of confusing. We got five left. Because all those pieces up against the wall, those little pieces, we can't use them because they're cut the wrong way. So we can we can use that one. We can split for the crack because that will start there. And then we can we'll have to split hold ones or cut them or, or uh, you know whatever they call it, ripping them. I guess they call it. So. Or at least we use that big one. So we only have little pieces other than the parts we ripped. Okay. All right, let's get busy. I have some more time. This whole room is going to look like when it's fully done because uh, it's
it's going to look really cool too and I'm not sure what this room is going to turn into because like I said before this used to be Jeffrey's office when he lived at the Ridgeway house obviously he doesn't live there anymore he has it since 2019 so um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens to this room and what it's going to look like when it's done and I'm sure we're going to see it soon probably still a few weeks away from that but maybe longer I don't know and when said that only does one video a week so I guess we'll have to find out what happens with that anyways let's continue
option for your pet's food. Okay, he just went downstairs to get a couple screws because this vent is it's very old and the tin is bent. And so it's making it harder for the vent cover to go in. I don't know if you can see that. So he's going to get some screws to see if maybe he can't make it flush up here and flush over here so he can try to get that vent cover in. seeing these construction projects and stuff too so that ends this video here i'm gonna go ahead and upload this and shortly after that i'm going to react to larry's launch video for today also um nothing from uh half mail yet um, I know she's going to upload soon, so I don't know if she's going to upload Roblox today, but we'll find out. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Stay tuned for the next one.